Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm still here in Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. And as you can see, it's just been raining a little bit. But it's not raining at the moment, so time for more exploring. And the plan now is to walk here down Pushkin Street. We'll get to Mashtots Avenue. And from there we will walk all the way down and go see the Blue Mosque of Yerevan. So it's the only active mosque still in Armenia. And it's an 18th century Persian mosque, Shia mosque. And after that, hopefully we'll have time to go to Kond. And Kond is an old area of Yerevan. So I say hope to go there because we just don't know what the weather holds for us. So let's have our fingers crossed. But yeah, this is Mashtots avenue in front of us here and we need to make our way down and I believe a blue mosque will be on the left side but in the meantime obviously we'll explore a bit more of Yerevan along the way you can see lots of flowers for sale here in the city oh and a bit of a traffic jam In my previous vlog I mentioned that everything happens smoothly here in Yerevan but maybe I was wrong maybe there is an element of chaos so could that be down to the weather that just changes people's mood slightly in my view people are always happier when it's sunny when it's raining they get a little bit more aggro look at this Ariel and a little mermaid here in Yerevan yes my friend and we'll walk all the way down to the blue mosque but in the meantime just have a look at some of the pink buildings again made from tuff the tuff is a rock type made of volcanic ash and it does give Yerevan a very distinct look and a particular atmosphere and you also have pink neon lights and lighting so we seem to like pink here in Armenia and they certainly like flowers as I've mentioned several times in my previous vlog and over there as well, look at that. So, begs the question that if I don't sell the flowers, what happens to them? Because uh, it's a bit like the clothes situation in Tunisia. It's just so much that I doubt that everything gets sold. So I doubt all the flowers here get sold, but let me know if, I, if I'm wrong with my guesstimation. Along the way here you've got some more apartment blocks and more Yerevan rides you can hire. Locals waiting for the bus and guess what more flowers. Flowers and coffee two things people love in Yerevan. Again, lots of traffic, but it's not a particularly noisy city. And you can see some stray dogs as well on the street here in Yerevan. Not as many though as I've seen in Tbilisi, I don't think. And again, I've only explored certain parts of the cities, of course. So... But yeah, never, never nice to see dogs on the street like this. This looks like a big supermarket. Zof. And there you can see some UK High Street shops, or shops you'll find in the UK High Street, rather. And people waiting patiently to cross the road. It's a little bit easier crossing the road here in Yerevan than in Tbilisi. At least it was really difficult. But over here, it's much easier and it's much more organized as well. 
You don't have the underpasses like you have in Tbilisi though. Which in their own right was nice to explore with lots of shops. Well, check out that cool Soviet car over there. And even the dog waiting to cross the street. How clever. How clever is this dog also knowing he needs to wait to cross the street. Here we go. If you want to disguise yourself here in Yerevan, that's where you come. Guys, guess what? More flowers. As pretty as it is, I really feel for the flowers. I don't think every flower will get sold. These ones, however, have got a different purpose. Look how pretty that is. And the pink tinted buildings. Indians dress nicely and of course that holds true for weddings as well. You can get some wedding dresses there. Persic, so some peaches for sale in this particular shop. And beautiful clothes and mentioned Armenians like pink. And they Definitely dress very smartly here in Yerevan. Very, very nice. Flowers for sale. Let's give you more. Another shot here of the architecture. And a local bus. There's an art gallery in front here. Now is that girl with balloon? Here in Yerevan. At this art gallery. Edward Isabekian. I hope I pronounced that correct. Anyway, we shall continue our walk down to the mosque. And flowers for sale. More pink buildings and Armenian flags over there as well. Yeah, Mashtots Avenue. A major thoroughfare here as well in Yerevan. And a hub of activity. So here's some vegetable sellers as well. <laughs> Definitely away from the center now, so you can see more street sellers. People trying to make some money. It's definitely have a more local feel to it. And there we go. There's the Blue Mosque. Our oh, beautiful exterior. information so 18th century as I mentioned and reconstructed in the late 20th century yes here we go oh look how beautiful that is I think we got the layout of the mosque over here. I'll just try and keep my voice down a little bit. Yeah, so there's a library conference hall, photo gallery, etc. Over here, so I think the best is just to walk around the mosque here and take in some of the architecture. So now I wonder I wonder how much was reconstructed in the late 20th century, but it certainly still has 
an 18th century feel about it if there is indeed such a thing so here's a art gallery of some sort yeah classic Persian style ceramics over there more things on display here as well here's a picture of a mosque and let's not forget to look up to the roof all the mosaic tiles uh, yeah greens and blues and teals turquoise beautiful over here as well and it looks like I'm the only visitor here so yeah definitely the only visitor at the moment what have we got here so stone slab with some Persian I presume and over there yeah this is this is the main part gosh that's beautiful look at the blue how bright that looks in the sunshine and there's some police on the other side so I'm not going to pass there, I don't think. I'm sure it will be fine, but sometimes people just want to talk stuff. And like in Tunisia, they asked to see some of the footage I took before going to Carthage. And uh, lucky that my stuff wasn't deleted there. So yeah, don't want to take any chances. And looks like there's some more visitors here now, more tourists. It's good to see people coming to Armenia. Looks to be a library inside there. Yeah, that's fantastic as well, isn't it? Different types of blue. Yeah, it's a library. Not really mentioned the gardens or the, the green spaces here. So maybe in a little need of TLC perhaps but then again I need to come back at some point and see what it looks like in summer I'm sure some of us will look absolutely brilliant but I mean that is just absolutely iconic isn't it beautiful beautiful And all of a sudden there are loads of tourists. Sounds like a walking tour. Yeah, and there you can see the flags of Armenia and of Iran. Also. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed the Blue Mosque. Let's go to the old area called Kond. It will be our next stop. But of course, as always along the way, I'm sure there will be interesting stuff for us to see as well. So it looks like it's just a walk up here. Maybe around this area we can explore a bit, so... Let's go! Wow, just check out this building there. And the cartoon characters at the top there. Wow. So I wonder what building this is. Sir, you know what building? What's the name? City. City. City Hall. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful, huh? With all the cartoons. Very nice. Thank you, sir. So he said city. I don't know if that means City Hall or something, but let's go check it out. So change of plan, we won't go to the old town just yet. We will first go and visit here. If I can cross the street. Which will be very difficult. 
Maybe I shall make use of the first underpass that I've seen here in Yerevan, so... Maybe the underpasses are underrated then, so... I should have a bit more respect for them. There are no shops in this underpass, but there are musicians. And that's one difference from Tbilisi. It's obviously Tbilisi in the underpasses because they are so widespread. You've had loads of shops. And... But hey, over here, on this side, we will have a very interesting shop. I'm actually quite excited to explore this. I've got no idea what this is. This does look like a, a market or a shopping mall of some sort. And flowers. Sorry guys, you know what building this is? What is this building? Shopping or a yeah, market. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, gosh, look at this. Ah, so that's the city that the guy outside mentioned. So it's a shopping mall. And wow, just look at all the fresh fruit and things for sale here. But uh, I'll be honest to say, I probably expected more of a market, open market kind of feel to it. But here you go. This is what is inside this building. Right. Let's get rid of my slight disappointment with this building inside, certainly not on the outside. Look at that. And let's go to Kond, the old district, the old part of Yerevan. Check out this interesting shoe shop here. And it looks handmade, actually. Beautiful designs. Again, nice clothes shops. Lots of color. Check out Ararat Bank. A reminder that we are not too far from Mount Ararat, from Noah's Ark. Right. And I think this should be Liu Street, Lusavoric Street. Ah, Lusavoric is on that side. And we need to go right here, and this is definitely then Paronyan Street. Paronyan Street, this. Right, we are properly off the tourist trail now. Local shop here. Some stuff for sale. Local clothes Ooh. shop. Another coffee house. Yeah, a few more street sellers and people selling stuff that are not flowers in this part of town. Here's a coffee machine that I don't think is working, but why don't we try an ice cream? Problem is, which one? Maybe try this one here. Looks to be 150, I think. Hello, sir. You sell ice cream? Hmm? Uh, you sell ice cream or not? You're inside. Is your shop? Whose shop is this? Yeah. Right, so let's try one of these ice creams. Let's go and check. And the other thing I noticed in Armenia, on every produce or every product, they've got this QR code. Which I wonder what this is, but uh, we'll check it out. Sorry, buddy. Oh yeah, this one please? Huh? Yeah, can yeah. I take? Mm -hmm. 150, yeah, thank you. Is camera okay? I just want to try eat. Yes, is okay? Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you. Right, so here goes. Armenian ice cream. Let's give it a taste. Just in this beautiful shop here as well. We've got a, got a lot of fresh fruit here in this shop some wine and, but anyway we try a bit of the ice cream here in Armenia 
Here we go. Mmm. Chocolate ice cream. Inside this wafer thing. Very, very nice. Very sweet. And the ice cream is melted just perfectly, which means it's not too cold. Mm. Just the right temperature, so good for my sensitive teeth. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, so here we go, guys. Mm. I can definitely recommend this ice cream. Look, it's even got Yerevan. I don't know how local that means it is. But yeah, 150 is absolute bargain. So when I came from the airport, the bus ticket was about 300 drum, which was about 60 pennies. So yeah, 150 is an absolute steal. We are certainly worth it. Oh, check this out. They also have chase ice cream, ice chase cream. So I mentioned in another vlog that Armenians love chess. There's been a lot of grandmasters here from Armenia and unsurprisingly maybe even that they've got ice cream chess or ice chess cream. It's a bit more difficult reading it upside down. Anyway, let's continue our walk here in Yerevan. All right, here is Liu Street. I'll tell you what guys, my my map reading skills at the moment are shocking. So I definitely need to work on that. But what I do know is we can continue down here and then take the next street left. And that should take us to the start of the old town. So let's go. Maybe I've not really paid attention to my map reading skills of late because I always find it more fun getting lost in a place. So going off a beaten track there's more elements of surprise. You just don't know what you will do. Hello guys, how's it going? Bigets. Hmm? Bigets. Bigets. What's Bigets? Ich kann kleine bisschen Deutsch sprechen. Ja, you Deutsch, yeah? Ja, ich kann in Deutsch. Ah, very good, yes. Yeah. Why? What? Was bringe nach Armenia? Schauchen Armenia. Schauchen Armenia. Ja. Ich kann in Deutsch. Come on in Deutschland, yeah. You, yeah, very good. You know YouTube? There you go. Yeah. Go check yourself on YouTube. Thanks, brothers. Yeah, have a nice day, guys. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Met someone who spoke German to me there, so I only know a little bit of German. But uh, yeah, making friends along the way, yeah. It's also interesting sometimes just how some people react to a camera. I think most people are getting used to vloggers and people talking on phones etc or taking pictures so it's maybe not that big of a deal but you just never know who you might run into that just don't like the camera so you need to be careful at the same time oh yeah you can start getting a glimpse of old Yerevan more people hard at work here construction building so Yeah, when I said old Yerevan, I don't know if many of you have had a opinion on what you thought you would see. So old Yerevan in this case is not similar to the old towns you'll see in other cities. So in other cities, the old town is one that is generally well preserved and government spend money on preserving it and keeping it up or maintaining it but in Yerevan the opposite is true from what I've read so unfortunately they don't always get the funding that they need to maintain themselves so this is classic old town Armenian flag again there with some graffiti but we will see at least a lot of graffiti in this area again that mural over there so this area apparently is renowned for some very very beautiful street art so let's go and explore a bit of that yeah these buildings look very different from the ones you'll find in Northern Avenue for example 
the same volcanic tuff but definitely a different vibe in this part of town hey guys check out gold's gym here in Yerevan gold's gym of course made famous by Arnold Schwarzenegger and other bodybuilders who frequented it in California check out the street art here someone eating cheese say cheese I mean some of the buildings on this part of town looks derelict but at least here along Sayan Road I think it's called there are some nice shops and nice areas to come and sit down nice green spaces as well look at that Yerevan cuisine yeah this is another one of those entrances to parking lots or car parks where on the side you've got the graffiti and here's one of the train and on this side a nice house right Look at that, you can buy a coffee here, uh, express, but no cups by the looks of it. This looks pretty lardy da though. Oh, check this out. Colorful houses, almost like in Bizert in Tunisia. Wow, check out the architecture here from this side with the TV tower in the back there. People hard at work. That apricot color on the flag. The apricot band on the Armenian flag at play. Now let's cross here. Thank you, sir. And check out this beautiful shop here. Check out Soho Patisserie and Chocotari, also in pink. More pink in Yerevan, and uh, is that a Russian egg? I think so. And pink over here as well. And of course on the fabulous buildings. And a pink fence. And a pink mermaid. Is that Ariel? More pink. Dance studio, feel it. High heels, Vogue, jazz funk, dance hall, Kizomba. Yeah, definitely off the beaten trail. Still a very, very nice area to explore here. Another pink mermaid. Hey, brother, how's it going? <laughs> yes. Is it still on this side or? No, that way. Oh, is it this way? Yeah. I sort of, yeah. I took left, turned left the wrong way yeah, and yeah. stuff. Should yeah. I show you one more time? Oh, yes, please, brother. Yeah. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa, yes. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm making YouTube videos of Yerevan, so yes. Which is why I want to go to the uh, the Kond area and stuff. Yeah, how you feel here? Oh, it's an amazing place, man. Really? really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. I love the pink stone and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man. Yes. You have to go. Can Straight. I just, do you mind if I take a yeah, photo, yeah. maybe? Yes. Here we go. So, okay, so we are over here? Yeah, we are over here and you have to go ahead. Yes. And you will see the narrow streets. Narrow streets. And street, this yes. is Cone. Oh, okay, brilliant, brother. Thank you very Thank much, you. man. Appreciate it. Take it easy. We are now, I believe, in Cond. Sorry, brother, is this Cond, the area? Uh, yes. Cond, so for yes, graffiti. It's Kond. There, are, uh, there are two tunnels. Okay, so okay. this one and then the next one. Okay. Uh, in the first one. Oh, in the first one. Okay. Yes. Thank you, my brother. Okay, so this is the Cond area. 
and so far I've only seen some graffiti. Looking for some graffiti. And so far, it's few and far between. Anyway, even if we don't find graffiti, it's still an interesting experience just walking in a different part of Yerevan, which is really away from the city center, isn't it? Different vibe. Check out this. This is Yerevan. This is a different part of Yerevan. You can see the old part. And there's an Iceland flag. I presume that he's an embassy. Or some official building, perhaps. Oh, looking down here, that's actually a very nice view. Mountains at the back, yeah, more residential bits. So I get different directions from people. Some say go up, some say go right, but nonetheless, yeah, an example of old Yerevan as you can see here. Right, I see a narrow alley and I've got a weakness for narrow alleys so let's go and have a look. Okay, not so exciting so. Hello guys, how's it going? I'm looking for Cond. The gallery up there and stuff, yeah. Is, it, is there nice graffiti too? Art, you don't know about it and stuff. Upstairs and stuff there, okay. Thank you, my friend, thank you. A lot of steps and so there's a lot of steps in this part of town because Cond is on a higher elevation than the rest of Yerevan. Searching for Cond and its graffiti. I forget the word. Houses the and yeah, with the old, the same old houses. Old, old houses made yes. by themselves. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how we should pass, but it's there. It's up there uh, and stuff. Yeah, uh, just there is lots of little some alleys tiny and stuff. No, roads, it's fine. Uh, yeah. The alleys here. Okay. You should just go there and you will find. See it. if I can go up. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. Thank you. Right. So I think the problem is I've walked myself into an area where I can't really go up, but I need to go up. So I need to find a street or some stairs somewhere that takes me to Cond Street at least I know it's definitely up there so you can see there's a church that I need to get to somehow check what's in here I don't know if it's a house oh, looks like it hello sir sorry you speak English yes. sorry man I'm just trying to find Cond a gallery. Ru Rustaveli. Yes, I'm looking for graffiti. Graffiti. Artist. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, a bear. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate. Ah, oh, just a random adventure here in Yerevan. Oh, me near. Check this wooden balcony here. Mm -hmm. This house. Yeah, so not quite the same structure as you'll find in Tbilisi though, but a wooden balcony nonetheless. And non-wooden ones on this side. In a different part of Kond and you can see more of the older architecture here in the city, in the neighborhood. There's 
an example of a house here in the neighbourhood. Hello, sir. English. Okay. Speak English. No English. Yeah. Graffiti. Con graffiti. Do you know where I find graffiti? Graffiti. Graffiti. Art. I'm looking for Con Street. You see Con Street. Con that. Yeah. I Con. Art. 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 Graffiti. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Straight. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, both sides. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, monsieur. Thank you very much. Right. More parts of Conda. Ah, here we go. Cond Gallery. Here's our first bit of graffiti. Hi. Ah, Cond. Graffiti. Now we are starting to enter the art, the arty part of town. Yeah, certainly very different from the lardy da part of town. Artist. Graffiti artist. Over there and stuff. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. <laughs> I think people have been skeptical of me in this part of town. And uh, of course, not a lot of English in this part of town. Here you see Ararat Love again. And the beautiful Armenian flag as well. There's a few cats here in the neighborhood. Hello, cat. Hi. And another one. Makes me think like I'm in Tunisia. All the cats. And a third one. And the fourth one over there. Right, let's get out of here and see if we can find more art. I just want to take this opportunity actually guys to point out Victory Park over there. You see that eye as well as the statue over there. That is part of Victory Park here in Yerevan. Good you, monsieur. Yes. You from Yerevan? Yes. It's beautiful, monsieur. Really nice. What are you building here? Working. Working and stuff, yeah. Thank you, sir. Take it easy. Yes, and you. Yeah, I don't know why I call them Messiah around every corner. Maybe that's just a habit I picked up in Tunisia. Hello, sir. How are you? Very good. <laughs> and I guess a bit of luxury. Is that the word I'm looking for? In Cond? This building has received some funding. Oh look, there's actually a hostel here, a capsule hostel. In this part of the town. Old Soviet car and a workstation. Hello sir. Hi. Right, I think we're making progress. Look up here. And look there, Cond Gallery. Now we are entering the art gallery here, so let's go check it out. So let me tell you a little bit more about Cond. Apparently it means long hill in Armenian, so just showing off some of my language skills there. Well, not really, but pretty cool to say anyway, isn't it? Just a random door here in this street. 
next to it. Look at that. And the sound of people hard at work. That apricot band in the Armenian flag. Hard working and industrious and a great work ethic. Wow, I'm not sure if this is art or if this is actually a door. And there's things behind, but yeah, you can just see some of the old buildings. So obviously the contrast in this part of town with the more glamorous Kentron area we saw in my previous vlog is definitely stark. A beautiful church. Oh wow, look at this. It's open, I wonder if this is someone's house. Yeah, it looks like it. And yeah, definitely a nice place to come if you like graffiti. You can see more people taking pictures. Yeah, there's a nice one. Spring, is that perfume? Something else? So graffiti alleys here in old Yerevan. Oh, this is a very striking one. Look at the eyes. Over there and carpet. You can have a coffee. Oh, this is very nice. Someone was building some stairs here and ornaments a nice place where they can come and sit and have lunch or drink coffee and of course the graffiti hello sir hey check out this one here with a random colored bricks pink or purplish pink yellow and green there's more people enjoying the outdoors outside spaces oh wow I wonder what's written there or what they refer to So a real mix of art here in Cond. Oh, look at that one. On the Vandals style. at that Yerevan tropics and more art on this side so yeah let's check it out different mix of colors look at that paint where the windows Maybe once were, or would have been, who knows? Here we are at this beautiful church. Shot from it from the outside. And I 
wonder if it's the same pink stone because it looks a bit orange, yellowish maybe. Or maybe between the yellow and the pink we saw on Republic Square in the previous vlog. I think we're getting to a major thoroughfare in front here. We have some interesting structures on the side there. I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's walk back the side. So old Yerevan, obviously in need of some financial assistance from the government. Maybe they'll get some. Who knows? So old Yerevan, 10 out of 10 for the graffiti and for adding a bit of color to this part of town. People who live here or others who help people who live here obviously try and beautify these parts of town as well, which I think is wonderful. Here's the Armenia flag with a bit of a neon apricot or maybe a faded one from the sun. And on that note guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about Yerevan and some of the areas that we've explored. So we walked to the Blue Mosque and then we explored a bit more of Yerevan. The old area of Kond. And this is also where I'll end my series here in the Caucasus. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't done it yet, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for it guys. I'll see you later and I'll see you soon. Keep on working hard Armenia.